Jack Hammond from Advertising Age. Roger Sterling, Pete Campbell. <laughs> what happened there? Korea. We're grateful for your sacrifice. <laughs> Kiss ass. Where is this party? Sheraton? And wooden leg. They're so cheap they can't even afford a whole reporter. <laughs> Bikini is underwear you wear to the beach. We make a two-piece bathing suit. Do you want women who want bikinis to buy your two-piece, or do you just want to make sure women who want a two-piece don't suddenly buy a bikini? <laughs> Say again? That question just tied a knot in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they sit there like a couple of choir boys. You know one of them's leaving New York with VD. <laughs> Jeff Atherton. He came here expressly to see you. I didn't know he was coming, and I don't know who that is. You have no idea how tiny this place looks to a stranger. Did you tell him about the second floor? I refuse to be any part of that charade. <laughs> so it's a lie, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Is that commercial his work? <laughs> I borrowed a dress. You sat down so fast I didn't get a good look. <laughs> Do you want to see it? I'm breaking a lot of my rules seeing a divorced man. But Jane has made you her personal cause. How many rules? <laughs> Surely one of her rules is don't date a divorced man. How many more rules are there that apply to this situation? I'm an actress. But right now I'm a super in the opera, a supernumerary. We're the actors that fill the stage. I do a lot of mock drinking. <laughs> like tonight, you mean? <laughs> she had that glass in her hand twice already. And it's not getting any emptier. Why is he actually dating a blonde woman? Shouldn't he go for something dark-haired? His affairs have always been dark-haired, so it would make things easier for the future. <laughs> Let's see where we are New Year's Eve. If it's meant to be, it'll keep. I walk you on. No. I know that trick. <laughs> I wouldn't even call it trick, because that's so obvious. My objective was to get the ham. Mm. No one told you to hit me. That wasn't part of it. I've been assured that you ladies can look for your names and perhaps your picture in Monday's Daily News. What section? It's the Daily News. It's one big section. <laughs> <laughs> we really appreciate your talent and of course your discretion. You <laughs> are ow, ow, please. Oh. <laughs> Round two? <laughs> what kind of Saul Goodman business model is this anyway? Now all of a sudden ads are not good enough? Now they're staging incidents? I sold the Highlight TV special. ABC. They're moving towards all these eccentric sporting events, go karts. Well, that's very exciting. That is my news. I won't even tell people after it's aired. <laughs> For a guy from ad age, you can really write. He also says you're married. He never asked me that. Did he check any facts? You didn't give him any facts. You had to make some assumptions. My job is to write ads. Why did he make the assumption that Dawn's married? Is he still wearing a ring? Why do you have so many copies? I bought one to read. And I was going to buy one to frame in reception, and then I read it. Just wanted to get them all before anyone else did. <laughs> You turned all the sizzle from glow code into a wet fart. Plus, you sound like a prick. Well, it's done. <laughs> I wonder why that is. <laughs> All of you are pricks. Jane's friend found you to be charming. Although, a little grabby in the car. That is good news. Thank you. She liked you. Maybe you should have fondled Peg Leg Pete. <laughs> should have grabbed that leg. Hi Lai is leaving. Apparently, Don didn't mention them in the article. I didn't mention anyone. That's the reporter's job. <laughs> get him on the phone, get him in here, or camp out in his driveway. He hung up on me. Yeah, that's why. Camp out in his driveway. I wish we really had a second floor so I could jump off it. <laughs> Who gives a crap what I say anyway? My work speaks for me. Turning creative success into business is your work. And you've failed. Oh, this is stupid. Just because of this interview. 
How about one of the other guys gives an interview? And why does any company care about interviews? Hi, Daddy. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like the food, dear? No. Sally Draper, it's rude. I'm not hungry. Look, there's a marshmallow. <laughs> Smooth, smooth. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All right, dear. Mm -hmm. Isabel, can you bring a rag? Ow! Stop pinching me. <laughs> Who is that? A prostitute? Why well, is her back so wet? Stop telling me what to do. I know what you want. So do it. Is that what he wants? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> What's wrong? I need two hundred and eighty dollars for bail. Nah. <laughs> is it one of those women? You're going to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> Pete and I hired some actresses to get in a fight. We got them to increase their media budget. Hello. He's busy laughing. <laughs> One of them pressed charges against the other, $80 bail and a hundred apiece to keep their mouths shut. <laughs> and it has to happen today. <laughs> Run something like that by me first. Would have kept you from looking like an idiot, or worse yet, making me look like one. Is that what you want? You want people to think we're idiots, Peggy? There's no reason for name calling. Who are you? <laughs> Wait, what? Why'd you bring him up here if you didn't want him involved? Beyonce? It just came out. <laughs> What the hell? Who is he then? I was calling Daddy. I wanted to wish him a happy Thanksgiving. You'll see him tomorrow. Well, you want to call him to complain about how awful I am? <laughs> Don't expect any sympathy when he hears my side of the story. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to have them take that phone out of the hallway. <laughs> Why? It's actually the perfect trap. You always hear them when they want to use it. Load on, Henry. Garage door. What are you doing? You know what I'm doing. He needs to prove himself to you. Your ex was just visiting. He needs to remind you who the man is. Hello? Maybe they're asleep. Why would they be? Isn't he meant to bring you back now? Oh. Oh. It's almost ten. I thought you said ten. She didn't. I waited for you plenty of times. Oh, so then it doesn't matter. How oh, fucking real. Does that mean I should stay or not stay? Stay. Just that look on her face, like she's right in this situation. <laughs> when are you moving out? I don't know. We were supposed to be out a month ago. We haven't found the right place for the kids. Well, <laughs> for, do for the kids, green, yeah, sure. I'm gonna need to collect rent. I can't believe you. Don, it's temporary. Believe me, Henry, everybody thinks this is temporary. At least we hope so. He has some nerve. He has some nerve. Oh, I, I, know, oh, I don't want to hear this. But he's right. Man, this man. Just let him stay and get rid of her. There's not even any reason to be like that now. He gave her everything she asked for. Didn't fight her. Nothing. It was going great until it wasn't. <laughs> Thanks for the hand. But you didn't have to do that that way. You brought him with you because you thought I wouldn't embarrass you. At least I'm thinking ahead. <laughs> Doesn't always work, does it? <laughs> Nobody knows about the ham stunt, so our image remains pretty much where you left it. <laughs> you know something? We are all here because of you. All we want to do is please you. As you should. I've raised children in my life, Henry. They're terrified of her. I know what you see in her. And you could have gotten it without marrying. <laughs> She's a silly woman. Honestly, Henry, I don't know how you can stand living in that man's dirt. <laughs> yes, everyone, give it to her. <laughs> so well built, we can't show you the second floor. I don't get it. I think that's a little suggestive. I think I explained our, our product is for modest people. It's not wholesome. 
It's not. <laughs> Did I tell you we're a family company? <laughs> I'm sure the woman on your family have tits too. You're too scared of the skin that your two piece was designed to show off. It's somehow dirtier not seeing anything. <laughs> I think that's just your imagination, dude. Hmm? We don't want that. Well, gentlemen, you were wondering what a creative agency looks like. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed looking in the window. <laughs> there goes another client. Control yourself. Now cool off. And hopefully Campbell can... <laughs> Pete in the background. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. <laughs> out. Get out. Done. Excuse me? Get your things and get out of my office now. Ooh. Come on, let's go. Although, wait, is he talking to Pete or those guys? <laughs> Call Bert Cooper's man at the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> Pete's still trying his best. <laughs> I think it's too late to do anything. <laughs> 